Okay, YouTuber, this is part two. We're gonna take out this panel here. All right, and we're gonna take this, take this out early, take this out. Basically, put to pull this. We have to put it like this. And then we basically we kind of put it like that, and then we thump, we thump it in an anti-clockwise direction, and we pull it like that. You see that? Take that, put it there. And this one here. We put it in an anti clock direction and thump right here with the hand mill. Just thump it or like I use a soft mallet and thump it into an anti clock direction. We're going to pull. This is for two. We're working on the BMW and this one now we use is this and plug this out. Like so. And plug these out like so. We will finally get them out. And this one will work the way here. Oh, damn. Uh oh. Oh, this is just a bolt. To remove this lock. This can stay here and this can stay here. Oh, there. This one could stay. This one and this one, this one could stay. Only if we're going to remove this lock, we take this out. Okay. I guess I have to find it back. And put it back there. What kind of car is going to look? A kind of unnatural without it. It's a car that is bought at the auction. It's water damage crap. So, I don't know where it's at. It fly off. Gone somewhere. I don't know. Oh, here's it. Alright, this one. Oh, sorry. This one comes off of the battery pole. This fuse is not good. It's an old control model, fuel pump, and electromechanic, um, electric parts and brake model. We're gonna be replacing that. Another way you can take this out if the screwdriver reach too, is, is, if this thing reach too far up, and you can not take it off. You just get this, the fuel pump. You use that little leverage here, this little uh, R shoe cracks, and you put it here, and you brace it out like this you take it out and you can do the same thing for here let me see if I can uh, film it do the same thing here put the fuel pump on this and let's use it and rock it out One more thing I want to show you. You see this fuel pump? If you look at it here at an orientation, you can see the swelling. It's swelled up because it gets hot and more first the water get in it and it began to fried inside and the gas develops. If you can see the top of it, you see? The top of it is not flat. You see? It's rounded. It's rounded and swelled with a bulge right here. It has a bulge. Right there it has a bulge, a round bulge like a gas. Up in it. You see the bulge right here compared to the flatness of compared to the flatness of this module. You can see this one is completely flat. When you look at the fuel pump module, you can see it rounded. You see the roundness? Swell, have a bulge. Then so oh, we'll pull this shit off. We're we'll gonna pull this off here with a
all right the rear distribution box is beneath this look of covering right here and for people who want to have the, the phone number for bmw roadside assist it is basically foot 1-800-332-4269 okay that's it all right you take this flat screwdriver then we pour it under here under the side here then we begin to work it and work it to get this cover up we pop that up take that out of the way okay all right my back is killing me okay this is what we're gonna change here this rear distribution box either we change it or we see what we can trouble i guess i guess we have to change it because i think some kind of uh water may have may have get in it and baptized it as well it doesn't look like it's wet it doesn't look like it has any corrosion in it but i suggest that several control models need to be booted up from it you know what i mean okay so let me see if there's water sweat right here yes right here let me see you see right here you see this big plug right there you see the water on it you can see the sweat you see that cool so i think this box right here needs to be changed somebody pulled it out before oh it look new like they replaced it like thoroughly replaced it without my knowledge yeah, this look new. It doesn't look water damaged. Alright. Okay, YouTubers, this is the, um, the rear distribution box. As you can see, it, let me pull it out. This is the orientation of it. This is the exact same way it's put in. The two screws over here, go here and here. So when it goes in, it goes in like that, right? So this is the paper right here. The paper must be... Uh, The paper must be orientated this way. This is how the paper looks. And the fuse box, it, the fuse box is orientated right way. So the paper for the fuse box uh, uh, location and the different fuses, all right? These are located the very same way, okay? So that's how you must look at it from when you're doing it. All right, orientate the paper this way and so on. To match out the diagram of the fuse box, okay? See that? You see that? Cool. We can take it out. This is the diagram of it here. And this is the, the diagram of the fuse box. Look at it. Video. I look at the paper. You see that? So this square right here is represented by this right here. And these line of fuse right here, going up right here, are represented by these right here, going up. And these fuses right here, represent these right here. Okay. And this right here, represent right here. Alright. And this fuse right here, these one right here, right here, represent these right here, and this. You know? He's still. Okay. Okay, YouTubers. This will be end of part. Uh, what is this part two of the BMW uh, F06? Okay. We're gonna start part three next. We're troubleshooting.